We are at the final stretch after years of legal hearings and judicial deliberations. On the 20th and the 21st of February, Britain's High Court judges will get their last chance to decide whether they're going to wash their hands clean of Julian Assange and let him be extradited to the United States, where he will disappear in the supermax prison maze, never to be heard of again until he dies. Julian is not on trial. He has already been declared a hero of journalism and of everyone around the world who believes they have a right to know of the crimes their governments are committing behind their backs, supposedly in their name. It is Britain's High Court that is on trial. This is the court's last chance to restore what is left of the British court's dignity. A dignity that was sacrificed by judges who, year in, year out, allowed themselves to be deployed as the legal agents of war criminals. But let us make no mistake, it is not just Britain's judges who are on trial on the 20th and the 21st of February. So are we, citizens, politicians, organizations, all of us who claim to care for universal human rights and press freedoms. History will surely deliver its verdict very soon on all of us, depending on whether we actually stand with Julian not only while the judges deliberate on the 20th and the 21st of February, but also on whether we continue to stand with Julian the day after the court's verdict. Let us commit to passing history's test, even if Britain's High Court judges fail it. Carpe diem.